Hi, I'm Jeff Cogswell, and today I'm going to talk about some of the compiler options available when you're using Intel Parallel Studio. The idea is to maximize the performance of your code, and the way you do that is by targeting processors that can handle uh, the advanced technologies such as SIMD extensions. So let's take a look at this. I've got a new project here that I started in Parallel Studio. And the first thing you want to do is go up to Project and go down to Intel Composer and switch it to the Intel C++ compiler. And click OK. And now go ahead and open the Project Options. and head over to code generation. Now, every one of these options translates to a command line option in the actual uh, compiler when it gets called. For example, um, if we look at general, or let's see here, let's take a look at one of these, enable function level linking slash GY, that slash GY gets passed on to the compiler. And the ones we wanna look at specifically are advanced in uh, enable enhanced instruction set and on the next one code generation Intel um, add processor optimized code path and Intel specific uh, processor specific optimization let's take a look at each of these the idea is you've got multiple processors that you can target Intel has had a whole line of processors over the years and every year or so they come out with a new new set with new new capabilities and you may want to target those latest capabilities but you've, you have to decide how you want to handle the situation when your program runs on an older processor for example you can either have your code detect that it's an older processor and just halt or you can have it not detect that it's an older processor and just run with it in that case the older processor will see what it, it views as an illegal instruction and your program will probably crash or the third option is you can actually generate multiple paths of code where uh, the, the, your code will detect which processor it's running and then run the appropriate code based on that processor. And you use these three options to set those three possibilities. Under the first one, code generation, where we have enable advanced instruction set. That one is, I'm checking over here so I make sure I get it right. Uh, that's the one where if, for example, you choose the uh, the advanced vector extensions and you run this on an older processor it'll just keep running and the older processor will see what it views as an illegal uh, instruction. On this one here you've got I'm going to look at the second one first Intel processor specific optimization that's the same idea uh, you're just generating the one set of code uh, you're, you're software will check which processor, but instead of just crashing, it'll halt the program. So example, for example, if I choose AVX here and I run it on an older processor, the, the program will just end. Uh, then one above that is typically the most useful one. Here, if I choose, for example, AVX, it'll generate several line, several paths of code, and so it'll check which processor it's running on. And then if you're running it on an older processor, it'll run code for specifically for that older processor. In, in many cases, that's the one you're going to want. But if you are targeting a specific processor, you don't need to do that. If you know that your code is only going to run on a specific processor, such as an internal project, for example, then you, you, may, you probably won't want to use this one. You'll want to use one of the other two. So that's basically how you set the architecture. Um, I closed it up. Let me open it back up and show you one more thing here. Here at Go Parallel, we use a lot of uh, the new uh, C++ 11 extensions. Um, under here, under Language Intel C++, if, if you're going to use, for example, Lambda functions, you're going to want to turn on Yes for Enable C++ 11 support. 
and there's other options you can check them out but those are the important ones that i use